What's up, Degenerates? Okay, I have to admit, I'm glad that week is fucking over and the pubs are open tomorrow because we are going on it. <laughs> right, I'm only cotton late Sunday evening, but what a poor week by our own brilliant standards. But anyway, as always, we don't dwell and we bounce back next week strong. But it was, you know, I have to say for the first time in the couple of months, it was a poor week. But anyway, we're going to have that, but we're going to come back better and stronger next week and we're going to kick them in the nuts. Right, let's move on. But before I do, let's just hope Lowry can save some nice points for us. We tipped him up each way, 30 to 1. He's on the cusp of the top 10. Let's hope he can sneak in to that top 10 finish and get us that in the golf. Ricky Fowler was in the top 10. Then he double bogeys and bogeys right on the find, the back nine of the round four. And he's sitting there in the top six, absolutely sick. And we backed him at massive prices, 60 to 1 and 50 to 1. And, oh, Lord. So anyway... That's going to happen. But as I said, stay tuned. Stay following. The winners are coming. I have a really, really strong fancy in Listowel tomorrow. Before I get to that, let's go to the one o'clock in Leicester. Bastange. James Doyle in the saddle riding this Holy Roman Emperor. And... Uh, or the son of Holy Roman Emperor. Was a really, really nice debutante. Was well backed. But for me... He's still shown a lot of greenness. Now, he, he might have showed a lot of quirkiness as well. But I'm prepared to think that he's he was just green. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He carried his head a small bit high. But I wouldn't mind that on debut running downhill in Windsor. Little bit unbalanced in places, but hit the line strong. So I'm prepared to say this horse can step up on his debut. They thought he was good because there was money for him. He has a nice pedigree. And I think we could see a big improved performance from Bastange tomorrow for the David Evans camp. What a year David Evans has been having. His Rohan keeps getting it done. Everybody keeps underestimating him. He's won two group races at massive, massive prices lately. So crazy, crazy stuff. Okay, let's leave that there. And then let's go to Pontefract. Where a couple of horses that were around marks that I thought they could win were running. Let's start at the earliest one. The 715 Saluti. Graham Lee rides this ton of acclamation. Now this horse won, won off uh, I think four or five pound higher here before. Definitely a horse. Nicely weighted. Nice run the last day. Big run incoming tomorrow. Now he has to be ridden for a little bit of luck. He is drawn in stall nine. So it's not a disaster when you're taking your time. So let's hope for a clean run up the stretch. And he can get it done for us. Then in the 745 at Pontefract. Billy Roberts, trained by Simon Whittaker. Phil Dennis in the saddle. Now, Billy Roberts can, had a nice run recently and stayed on lovely. And I just think this horse is primed. Yes, the Mark Johnson filly, its closest rival in the market. That was an impressive winner the other day. But a stiff, stiff mile and a quarter, I think, will play to Billy Roberts' strengths uh, around here tomorrow. And I think it might be enough for him to improve and win off the back of a good comeback run. Then in the 8.45. From the Willie Moore camp. Mitro Sunfire. Or Metro Sunfire. However you pronounce it. This is a Sun of Lethal Force. A, sti a six stiff should be. Uh, a stiff six. Should be right up his street. Nice run the last day. PJ McDonald in the saddle. So really rock solid jockey in every way. Former Scottish Grand National winner jockey. Changed to the flat. What a career he's having. Got to ride some really nice horses through the years for Carl Burke and the Tate camp. So really, really good stuff. And uh, yeah, absolutely interesting runner tomorrow. So let's go on then to this stall. To my nap of the day. This filly should be winning tomorrow. I think she's way better than her mark. I think three mile around this stall is a perfect. If she's going to stay at three mile, this is where it is. Better ground than the last day. Palace Des Voyages. Mark Bulger in the saddle. This this is won by Rip Van Winkle. And look, this one is a three points win selection. This is a good mare, lads. And the last day, things didn't just go her way around Tipperary. It was a weird night. Ground was bad. They were all congregating on the outside rail. Wasn't much room for anyone. She didn't jump great and wasn't beaten that far. I think 
you could see a lot smoother performance in her stall tomorrow and I wouldn't be surprised not only if she won but if she did it in a bit of style and uh, yeah that's about it anyway stay following the time for cotton is over enjoy your Sunday evening and let's hope Lowry can finish in the top 10 to save a little bit of the damage this week right like and subscribe back better and stronger than ever next week the time for cotton is over